What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to this week's episode of Thirsty Thursday Beer Reviews. Tired Hands, Ardmore, PA, uh, Alien Church. Alien Church? I feel like we've had an Alien Church before. I, I know that I've had Tired Hands beer, but I've never bought Tired Hands beer. Because <laughs> it's been something some, that somebody's had. <laughs> yeah. Which is probably bad of me, because I know they're a good brewery. Yeah, I've yeah. never had this. I just feel like we've had a different brewery's <laughs> beer called Alien Church before. At least I feel like I have. But yeah. anyway, it's a... Uh, <laughs> It's an IPA, mm -hmm. obviously. Um, well, not obviously, but kind of obviously if you watch this enough. Yeah. Um, 7% ABV, 25 IBUs. Low on the IBUs? Yeah, doesn't seem like it'd be that crazy. Mm -hmm. It's got a pretty uh, funky can. I don't even know what you would call those things. Skulls with snakes. I don't know. Going into a fish tank. I don't know. Uh, pretty dark and... Creepy. No. I hope it tastes less scary than the can looks. So, so uh, yeah, we might as well just dive in. Let's go. Ooh, it looks creamy. I like the look. It looks uh, looks creamy to me. It, it looks milkshakey to me. It does. I don't. I don't think it is, but it it, mm. it does have that. Uh, Nice pale haze to it that I like. It's a nice sweet smell. Oh my. That is good. It smells nice. It smells, to me, it smells sweet. It does. It's got that, uh, that New England kind of nice. Is it oats or is it? I think it's oats. I think it's, you know, some nice, like, light, like, melonish, melons, some... I got berries. I get berries. No berries? Mmm. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm digging it. I like it. Let's go. It's got that little fizzy. Ooh, it's an IPA. Ooh, that finish. It's not short on hops. That finish is nice. Mm. They said this beer's 25 IBUs. I think it's uh this does uh I think it's got a little creamy tech creamy flavory mouthfeel to it. It does, but it, it drinks it drinks like it's a 50 IBU beer. It does not taste like I expected something more malty, more fruit forward kind of. I yeah. thought from their description that I would taste more fruity berry flavor. Yeah. But I'm, I'm not getting that at all. No, it's very tropical. It's the most tropical IPA I feel like I've had in a while. Though it's, yeah? It is more tropical than citrus, I feel like. To me, it's oaty, piney. Pine comes late. I think the pine comes. Yeah, it's on there. The pine, end. like the pine, like the pine comes late. It, it's not pine up front, but it's uh, it's tropical up front. You know, pine in the back. It certainly doesn't. It doesn't have as sweet a taste as it smells. No, to me anyway. Mm, it's that Chinook kind of mosaic combination. I feel like that's. Do we know what hops are in here? Chinook mosaic, and there, there's a third one. I don't know what the third one is, but. Mm -hmm. It gives you that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It just like leaves a coating. Yeah. In mm -hmm. the mouth. Yeah, I feel like it's heavily oated. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm That's what I'm getting too. But but definitely has that. I don't know. Almost like a New England. Piney. It's almost like an East meets West Coast type of thing. Yeah. Because it has that West Coast finish. But Ooh. it doesn't have, uh, you know, it, it doesn't at all taste like a West Coast up front, you know. If you're one of those mm. people that, you know, makes a face with the 
thought of an IPA, mm -hmm. you probably won't like this. No, no, if you're not. This is an IPA drinker's IPA. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, I'm into it. Could have been a little more fruit flavored to Se me. but 7%, seven, uh, seven I don't feel like, I mean, I, may, I guess maybe it feels like it's in, in the 7% range. It certainly doesn't taste like... I'm not getting any alcohol. I'm not getting boozy, any, any, any of know. that. No, there's no booze to it. Um, but you're definitely getting... You're definitely getting the pine needles in, at the end. I mean, It definitely it, it sticks is, around. It is piney. It hangs out. It um, does hang out. Yeah. The IBU rating does not tell the story, man. This is much more bitter than what I would expect from a 25 IBU beer at, a, at 7%. No, I think you kind of nailed it. This is definitely a IPA drinker's IPA. Yeah. Um, this is not entry level. <laughs> so, <laughs> but this is what I makes like I, it though. This is what makes IPAs cool beers like this because this is this is a complex beer. A lot of stuff going on. You know, your upfront is different than your finish. It's got nice mouthfeel, nice texture. Um, it's got that nice creamy. You know, head fades away a little bit, but. See even the oats like that's so white. You know? I hate a thin beer. I I, I like when it yeah. has a little bit of a I don't know creamy mouthfeel to it, like just kind of a heavier. Yeah. I don't know. I like it. Mm, I like it a lot. Tired Hands Brewing Alien Church. If you're in the PA area, head over to Ardmore PA. They do have a tap room. We have friends mm -hmm. that have been. Mm -hmm. uh, we've yet to been. Maybe we need yet to bend. We yet to be. Maybe we, we should get. We, we should probably. We should bend. <laughs> we should bend there soon. They have like food because they're in PA. <laughs> that is a plus. That is definitely a plus. Um, I'd like to get there. Uh, Check them out. Hard work. Heard good things. Had several good beers from them. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a fan. What's your untapped score on this? I'm four and a quarter. I can go four and a quarter. I'm good with that. Yeah, that's a solid score. Yeah. It's, I think it's a really good score, but yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah definitely. Um, I think that's a. If you can get this, or you're in the area, I mean, I don't know where Tired Hands. The label does not tell the story, man. You don't think so? Oh, look yeah. at you! Mm -hmm. Oh man, mm -hmm. sediment is a way of life. So, again, I don't know where you can get this at, but if you can get it. It's worth a it's worth a shot on a four pack and yeah most definitely. What would you eat this with? What would you eat this with? What food would you eat with this? Oh, this is your typical. I feel like this is your typical IPA. This to me needs something greasy like burger, you know, burger steak. Okay. Um, well, you got greasy steaks, bro. What do you? Uh, like? Well, yeah, greasy burger. I mean, yeah, I can go steak. for a, yeah, no. Um. So, that being said. With breakfast wouldn't be bad either. Well, <laughs> IPA always goes good with breakfast. That is our review. 4.25 on Untapped. We uh, give it. Go get it. Two thumbs up. We like it. Dig it. He likes He poured second, so mm -hmm. that tells the story right so, there. So you know I like it. There you go. Well, so you know it must be pretty decent. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next one. Later.